super troopers welcome back to our shelf indulgence book club book reviews this is the second installation for our march pick i'm super excited to dive in um, but just wanted to remind you if you haven't already i'll put a link in the description where you can sign up um, to get our emails and that will include some reminders of our book kind of um, guiding questions throughout the month as we read and reminders for our book club discussion and any other bookish events we have going on so i'll leave that in the description other than that i'm just gonna get right into my short review um no spoilers here so i'm not gonna go super in depth but yeah let's dive in our pick for march was milk fed by melissa broder and first of all i want to start this with a very big huge trigger warning um because this is primarily about disordered eating and a lot of it is very triggering so um take care of yourself maybe avoid this one if that's going to be something that's harmful for you um because it may basically is throughout the whole book so it is about a jewish woman named rachel there's actually a lot of things going on so a majority of the book is Rachel struggling with her disordered eating habits um, that she primarily picked up through from her mom. Um, her mother kind of raised her to count calories and she was borderline abusive, just very controlling um, with Rachel what she ate and that kind of trauma lasted throughout Rachel's whole life. So um, we meet Rachel in the present day as an adult and we see how that has really affected her life. As we get a little further into the story, Rachel meets Miriam, who is also Jewish. She's an Orthodox Jewish woman, and um, they start a relationship. Miriam is a lot less restrictive just in general in her life. She is very comfortable in her skin from, I would say from the reader's perspective, we don't really get an inside look into Miriam's mind. Um, but she definitely seems to be a lot more self-accepting and just enjoys food and seems to enjoy the things she enjoys without feeling bad about it. So again, don't want to give away any spoilers, but they start a relationship, uh, starts as a friendship, and Miriam kind of teaches Rachel how to open up to food again and it kind of goes from there. Aside from disordered eating, it talks a lot about um, parent-child relationships, um, different kinds of abuse at times. It talks a lot about religion. There are a lot of interesting um, like references to Jewish religion, which I didn't really know about. I kind of had to Google a lot of things, um, but a lot of religious themes. Yeah, definitely multi-layered, a lot going on. It never really seemed overwhelming. Um, I think Melissa Broder did a really good job at balancing all those different themes and tying them together in a way that made sense. So that's the basic gist of what the book is about. Um, as far as my personal feelings on it, um, I don't really know how I felt about it. As I've already said, it was super triggering and I mean, I've never struggled with disordered eating or any sort of eating disorder but I felt it's just very upsetting to read at certain parts. Melissa Broder has a really dry cutting um, writing style and that also translate into the humor in the book. Um, a lot of the jokes were very dry. It was very cleverly written um, and I think overall the book was really good. Um, I just have mixed feelings I guess when it comes to how the book made me feel. I know a lot of my fellow Girl Soup readers who participated in this book club this month were also pretty conflicted and or triggered by it. So take that as you will. There's also a lot of sex in this book. Uh, a lot of graphic sexual fantasies that um, some were a little more I would say shocking <laughs> than others um so yeah a lot going on interesting read i will also say that it was a slow start for me and and for nina um which you can also check out our 
discussion we had on milk fed i'll leave that in the description too um, but it was definitely a slow start for me it was kind of just getting that um into rachel's head and her routine it was kind of just a, a bit slow for me at the beginning um but it did pick up and got a lot more interesting i would say about a little before the halfway point um the chap the chapters are really short too which is nice um but it does pick up so if you start reading it and you're not quite sure um uh, just give it a little time it does pick up once we kind of establish you know what's going on overall i think it was a good pick for march i'm glad to have read it i don't know if i'd really recommend it to everyone <laughs> but yeah definitely give it a shot if you're into um kind of weird books. I know Melissa Broder has a reputation for writing stuff that's kind of out there. Um, I think the Pisces was about uh, mermaid sex or something like that. So that's that. And that's it for this month's review. Um, I hope you enjoyed it if you read it. Um, I hope you're able to make it through it. Leave a comment. We'd love to hear your thoughts. We will have our April book announcement up pretty soon. Um, I think we're going to do a fun voting thing on our instagram or something like that stay tuned for that announcement for next month and i'll be back here at the end of april with our next review thanks for watching